The website is in the description below. In the drop down box under nationality, select EEUU if you are from the USA. In the box below that says type of document, select PAS, which stands for passport. If you're not a Peruvian resident, you won't have a DNI. Enter your passport number in the field below. If you select a DNI or CE, enter that number instead. Enter the date of birth by clicking on the calendar and selecting the year first. Then select the month. ENE stands for January, ABR stands for April, AGO for August, and DIC for December. When you see the final date, keep in mind that the day will precede the month. So if your birthday is December 10th, 1980, the date will read 10-12-1980. The U.S. does it the other way around. Click the green search button. The information you just entered should auto-populate the next page in the appropriate fields. You can't see some of the info here because I blurred it out. Enter your last name and then your first. I ignored the second last name field. Most Spanish-speaking people have two last names. And types my middle name after my first name in the first name field because my middle name is on my passport. Select the gender from the drop-down menu. If you are from the US, Peru will be an international trip. That radio button is already selected, so leave it alone. Enter the date you will arrive in Peru by using the calendar icon. Remember, the day precedes the month. Enter the flight number. Enter your country of origin. This might be different than your nationality. If you are flying into Peru from a country other than the one you normally reside. I am a U.S. citizen flying into Peru from the United States, so I selected EEUU from the drop-down menu. EEUU stands for Estados Unidos, which means United States in Spanish. Input the Peruvian city where you will land. In our case, it was Lima. Google the province and department. Enter your country code. For the US, it's 001. Then enter your area code and phone number. Do the same for your cell phone number. Enter your email. Repeat the department and province information that you input above, but this time put the neighborhood you are staying in under district. In our case, our Airbnb was in the Barranco neighborhood. In the field beneath, add your hotel or Airbnb address. Now enter the information about the other person traveling with you. Start with the last name and then the first name. I input my middle name next to my first name. Select the appropriate gender from the drop-down menu. Ignore the symptoms and illness fields if you are not sick. Click the pink Add button. Scroll down. Leave the radio button default selected if you have not had contact with anyone who has tested positive for COVID and if you have not been recently isolating. Do not check any of the symptoms if you don't have any. Unfortunately, you have to check the box saying you accept the geolocation of your cell phone. Check the box declaring that the information you provided is true. Don't forget to complete the email field. Click register. Review the information. Click descargar to download or imprimir to print. You should also receive email confirmation.